guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to share with you a few new police related items that i got in the mail everything is from galls so i'll be able to link it all in the description box down below if you're going into the academy or if you are a police officer now and you need to pick up a few things i'm just going to share what i recently got if you're new here please make sure to subscribe don't forget to follow me on my social medias i do tiktok and and Instagram as well police related fashion related lifestyle related everything is always listed in the description box let's jump into the new police gear that I just picked up starting off with this big honking thing if you watched my last police gear video I did pick up a duty bag I thought it was gonna be something that I would enjoy because it look like it was organized and everything like that but i just come to the conclusion that i don't like big duty bags anymore i don't need to carry that much stuff i'm trying to minimize the amount of crap that i take with me i figured i would get a medium small kind of bag i put a lot of things in my lunch bag so i figured i would get something like that to make it easier you know so then i can carry not only my lunch but also other things like my clipboard and evidence bags. Our vehicles do come fully equipped with other things that we're gonna need on calls, but there's just certain things that I prefer to keep with me. I figured that this would be a perfect size. If you want a what's in my duty bag video, I can do an updated one featuring all of the stuff that I'm gonna put in here. We can fill it together <laughs> this is technically considered a range bag like i said i'm gonna link everything in case you want to shop any of it but i just like that it was this size not too big not too small and i can definitely fit a lot of different things in here so this is what the inside looks like so it has a zipper here and then a zipper here kind of excited to play around with this this also comes out meant to like come out and just carry whatever you need so this is the inside i can use this as another bag like maybe i'll use this for the range and then this for my lunch duty bag because now it's like super wide and open and all my stuff will fit in here it's just gonna be easy to put over my shoulder when I'm going out to the car and getting into service. So I'm really excited to use this tomorrow. Tomorrow is my first day back after my days off. This is called the Elite Range Bag. That's what it's considered. But like I said, I'll link it down below. Yay, I am so excited for this. And you technically get two bags in one. You can either use them together or you can use them separately. I think I'm gonna use them separately. I think this is gonna be my range bag now. Yay! <laughs> There's no pockets on the side, which is completely fine. I don't need pockets on the side, but I love the pockets in the front. And then there's another um, pocket behind the one in the front. So there's a lot of storage in this. And this is going to be such a good size. It's not too big, not too small. I will do another video consisting of what I'm going to now keep in this bag. And I'm totally going to get rid of the duffel bags because I just... I don't need them. It's just too much. Let's jump into the littler things that I got. This is a headband. I wanted to get a new one just because the one that I had, I just thought looked a little weird. It was for COVID because you could attach it to the mask because it had the buttons right here. There's just like a lot of fabric. So I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Again, I go back to work tomorrow, so I'll test it out, but I'm really not sure if I'm gonna like it because it feels so big on the head. I needed a basic black hat for the range, so I just picked up one of these. It doesn't have any snap or anything on the back, so I don't know how they expect everyone's head to fit in this, but I just wanted a basic black hat to bring to the range because when you go to firearms training, you definitely want to wear a hat, so it kind of blocks you from the casings when i was in phase two i was shooting so often that like i would get burn marks from the casing all over my neck because they would fly up and go like down into your vest and into your shirt it was insane <laughs> but there's nothing you can do you just have to like handle the burning feeling and ignore it and then just continue to shoot 
it was insanity. <laughs> Last little thing I got was this little pink pepper spray keychain. So, you know, when I'm walking around, obviously I'm still a female, even though I am a female police officer, but when I'm just going into public areas off duty, it's just nice to stay protected, okay? I recommend females to carry some form of protection with you, okay? The world is a crazy place. There's a lot of nut jobs. You want to stay protected. While you're walking around, keep this in your dominant hand pocket, in your jacket pocket. If anything wants to happen, God forbid, your hand is already in your pocket, so you just take it out and pepper spray. I like this one because it's so easy to just go boop. You just flick it up and then press the button. Okay, this is purely just for protection. Don't just randomly use it on your friends. Protect yourself and then call 911. I also carry my weapon off duty. I don't know if I've showed that. I don't know if I'm able to show it on YouTube because everything's so boo hockey nowadays. So I also carry that. It's just, I don't know if it's just because I'm, I work in this field, but there's just a lot of creepy people out there. And it's unfortunate that these females who are just walking by themselves get attacked and you want to make sure that you're able to protect yourself. So I definitely recommend getting a little keychain that is cute and pink and shoots out pepper oil. <laughs> so the last thing I picked up are these Merrill boots. I am such a big fan of Merrill. I know a lot of you leave questions like, what boots do you wear? What shoes do you wear? And I always say Merrill. I do have my other Merrill shoes. Those are more for summer because they're like a sneaker almost, but they're so comfortable. I love them so much. And then I also have another pair of boots that like really aren't my favorite. So I wanted to get a, like a hybrid of what I have, the boots and the sneakers. So this is literally so perfect. These are, what are these called? These are the Response Tech Mid WP. Again, I'm gonna link everything in the description box in case you guys wanna shop any of these. But I even recommend getting these for the Academy because they are shinable, shinable. They do have that material where you're able to shine them. Merrill shoes I think are just the most comfortable. I just don't like any other ones. Merrill footwear has been my favorite ever since I've tried them and I will never go back. So if you do need sneakers for the Academy, I recommend getting these. They are waterproof so you're able to shine them. And working in New York and the winter elements, this kind of shoe is perfect. The ones that I have for the summer are perfect for the summer because they're breathable. But when I wear them in New York, you know, one day where it says it's just gonna be 40 degrees and whatever, and then it starts snowing or raining, those shoes aren't gonna protect me from the winter elements. <laughs> because in New York, the weather can change in a drop of the hat. So I wanted to pick up something like this where it's waterproof and my feet are gonna be protected. They're gonna stay warm. A lot of boots are like tall like this. I can't stand those personally. I like the shorter versions. So that's why I picked up these. I'm so excited to wear these. These are, just, oh, they're just so lovely. I love Meryl. Um, I am a true eight and a half in women's. So seven and a half in men's is perfect for me. I tried them on, they're absolutely perfect. You don't want them to be too snug because you're gonna be wearing them for eight, 12 hours. So you want comfortable footwear. It's so important for this job, especially if you have to like run and you see the, the bottom. So the traction is really good and it's just, it's like a sneaker boot. It couldn't be more perfect. That is everything that I recently picked up. There will be more to come because we get a uniform allowance every year. So anytime that I pick up anything new, I will let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, I will talk to you later.